Hey everybody, Ashton here again with Zen Sense with another fragrance review. This is going to be more of a quick take instead of a full length review. The fragrance is Calvin Klein Obsession Night for Men. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I was taking down notes on a lot of fragrances. Honestly, I just picked a lot of random ones to start with and this is one of the ones I picked. So this has actually been sitting in my queue or my docket of things to do for a long time and I just keep putting it off and putting it off, honestly, because I'm not super into the fragrance one way or the other. Uh, but I figured, let's go ahead and just get it done. That way it's not hanging over my head anymore. The top of this is a synthetic pear mixing with Artemisia. It's really not all that pleasant and it comes across not very fruity. Even though the pear is the dominant note, it's not really bright or juicy. Like I said, it's just more synthetic. It comes across kind of herbal. After about 10 to 15 minutes, cardamom starts to come in and it just kind of muddies it up a little bit. It's still more spicy, still more herbal than it is fruity, uh, and it doesn't really seem to gel all that well in the open. As the top dries down, you get the cardamom mixing with the nutmeg note. It becomes more pleasant once that top goes away. When you hit the dry down, there's a semi-dusty vanilla, which adds a little bit of sweetness, and that's when the fragrance is at its best. The longer this one goes on, the more pleasant it smells. The opening is synthetic and kind of messy. The notes don't really jive all that well together, but once you hit the mid and that top goes away onto the base, it becomes pleasant. Not amazing, but pleasant. Age-wise, this comes across as something probably 25 years and older. If you were younger and it sounds like something that you're into, obviously you can still wear it. It just doesn't fall into those typical niches that you would think a younger person wears, like a club scent, date fragrance, or uh, just a versatile freshie. This smells like it would work better in fall or winter. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be a night fragrance, even though it says night on the bottle. It would work in day just as well. Um, but the projection and longevity are not that fantastic. So if it's really, really cold, you're probably not going to want to reach for this. The projection on this is a little bit on the low end of average. And honestly, in the top, you probably don't want it projecting that much because it doesn't smell that nice. Once you hit the dry down, when it really starts to smell pleasant, decent, whatever you want to call it, it's sitting closer to your skin by then. Longevity wise, I get about five hours, so that's okay. That puts it in the average range for me. Um, you can find this almost all the time in America, the United States, uh, at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross's. Uh, this seems to pop up fairly often. This is technically a discontinued fragrance, but you can find this online on the cheap. And it's not one that's really gone, uh, but not forgotten. So I didn't put it in that whole line of discontinued fragrances. It's more like a fragrance that nobody cared about that much and they discontinued. Still had a crap load of them out there so you can still get it really cheap. And we're not gonna go over the presentation in too much detail. The box is fairly simple. If you've been to the discount stores that I mentioned just before, you've probably seen this. You get a kind of gradient from dark blue to a lighter blue on the front, says Obsession Night. It's decent enough. I mean, it's a Calvin Klein, um, so for that, it's decent. Uh, the bottle is your standard Obsession bottle uh, for men, but in a dark, almost uh, reflective blue. Uh, you can see through it to see the juice level. Uh, the atomizer is one of the, the big, semi-cheap looking atomizers, but it gets the job done. It disperses a lot of juice in a big cloud. So yeah, that is Calvin Klein Obsession Night. I figured I'd better get this off of my chest, uh, otherwise it's just going to sit there forever and never get done. So let me know what you think about this one. It is fairly cheap, so I imagine a lot of people have gotten their hands on it at one point or another. Uh, for me, like I said, the opening, not so good. The longer it goes, the better it gets. Um, so yeah, Calvin Klein, Obsession Night. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.